Hey everyone, welcome to group break number 214. Today we have an eight box center of 2020-2021 OPG Platinum Hobby. Uh, yeah, been really liking this product. Uh, we've done an inner case that was absolutely insane. The master case we did, uh, not the best, uh, but hopefully this inner case uh, brings it back up again. So we pulled the pond hockey er parallel out of the master case, which I was pretty happy with, but it's still a little bit on the quiet side. Nonetheless, Let's get into the team randoms for this case and let's have some fun. Good luck everyone. Three times on the names, three times on the teams. Who you line up with is who you get. And it's uh, been real fun doing the breaks. It's nice getting to meet people on the weekend. Uh, three times, once, twice, and third time. And again, hopefully everyone in the lower mainland is, you know, staying safe. Um, couple more storms coming in just with all the flooding recently um yeah hopefully everyone's just able to stay safe and yeah three times on the teams once twice and third time it is gonna be uh it's gonna be fun we're gonna have a product for 32 teams soon so uh here we go good luck uh, David, you've got Detroit, Jamie with the Blue Jackets, Brody with the Bruins, uh, Graham with the Coyotes, Brendan, you got the Rangers, Ted with the Sabres, Carter with the Lightning, Riley with the Hurricanes, Jordan with the Leafs, Marie with the Predators, Ted with the Kings, Kevin with Chicago, Marshall with Dallas, uh, Emil with the Devils, uh, Jordan with the Flames, Corey with the Capitals, Ted with the Jets, Kevin with the Islanders, Brendan with the Canucks, Dylan with the Wild. Nice team there. Patrick, you got the centers. Again, nice team there. Bill with the Panthers. Brennan with the Ducks. David with Vegas. They're pretty solid. Brody with the Oilers. Uh, Emil with the Habs. Dylan with the Sharks. JK, JK, Johnny. You've got the Abs. Again, another solid team. Marshall with the Penguins. Blair with the Flyers. And Emil with the Blues. There are your teams. I'll get them in a team viewer shortly. Yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. Uh, I mean, honestly, like we, we kind of crushed outside. Oh, Outside of the OPG Platinum Mass, and I guess Revolution wasn't the best, but we still hit the Edwards um, Parallel. I know it wasn't the numbered one, but it was still like a good pull. Um, it was it was a blast. And by the way, there's still the two breaks that are kind of like, once they fill, they'll break. It's the metal mixer that's got like the Series 1, um, like three retail boxes of Series 1, three of Series 2, and three of Extended, and then two Skybox Metal hobby boxes that one's up on there and then the like kind of mixer between series one extended and uh like some hobby there's trilogy sp game use chronology spx and artifacts those breaks are still live the minute they fill they will break essentially um and again there will be some overtime packs thrown in for those breaks as well when they fill so but yeah let me get the team viewer ready to go so if you're interested in those breaks, they are on the site. I think one has like very few spots left in it. I think it's down to like eight. Um, the one's got a lot more left, but yeah. There we go. All right, couple minutes for trades. I am going to get the checklist out. But yeah, hopefully everyone had fun that was, you know, went to the show. Um, again, I had a lot of fun there, so. Alright, I don't see anything on the trade front. So let's hop on the uh, the break front. I got the odds out here just in case you know we need them. Uh, I do want to say that the uh, the Romanov that okay, so the Romanov that we did hit was a Group B, so it's like the same odds of getting the laugh as the Romanov. So that was actually like, you know, in terms of absolute like potential in that master case, like the Romanov was a pretty high hit. We pulled the Habs were the team to have in like every single break, I think, except for. Except for maybe the Young Gun. No, the Young Gun Chase, they're were, they were definitely a team to have. The final break, they were the team to have. Um, maybe the first hockey break, they weren't great. Platinum, they were still good. So, 
But yeah, they crush it. So there's your uh, inner. Ugh. Yeah, I was shocked at how well the uh, the setup transported over too. It was uh, it's beautiful. I fit everything that I needed, including computer, into a backpack that weighed like eighty pounds, but not 80 pounds but 40 but like all my lights and stuff it was, it was wonderful uh how easily it uh fit over so i don't see anything on the trade front so let's get started let's start on the top right and work our way down good luck everyone again let's have some fun uh we can talk hockey we can talk the canucks or not talk the canucks depending on uh you know if you're a canucks fan or not you might not I just want to avert we were talking about them for a while but it's just been Honestly, I am shocked that they haven't had any changes there because, like, it's been bad for for a while there now. And, you know, normally at a certain point you'd expect changes. And it's just it's shocking that they haven't had any. So, here we go. Box number uh, 68. There's our definitely not the auto at all. Uh, 68 or 37. Here we go. Okay, let's have some fun. Again, we'll sleep stuff along as we go for like the main stuff. Um, yeah. Bergeron for the Bruins on the sunset and Stutzel for the centers. It's got some scratching on it. Uh, I will try to call it out. I think uh, it's very, it's a case by case basis on them, but um, some of them I'm noticing more scratching on the, than others. I, I know our first inner was rough. Our master was fine. So if I see anything, I will try to call it out. Lindstrom for the Red Wings. This one is fine. And yeah, like this one, the, even the base just has a little bit of scratching. So Lindstrom for the Red Wings on the Rainbow Rookie. Got a retro of Harkins for the Jets. Krebs for Vegas. That one, eh, it's got like a couple little print imperfections. But again, it is very common on foil products, uh, unfortunately. But it, again, yeah, it's like nothing out of the question. We got an orange, and that's a rookie. Well, that might be the auto. Because that is, that's set up differently. That might be an orange rookie auto. The auto might not be in the bottom left. Um, Parisi for the wild on the retro. But it's definitely orange and it's like, it's different. Uh, Connor McMichael on the sunset rookie for the capitals. Yeah, looks pretty okay. Bowers for the abs on the rookie. I think we got an orange checkers rookie auto to start us off. We did hit one in the master. I'd love to see an emerald surge, by the way. That is one one parallel that I would love to see. Or like the purple hound's tooth. Uh, Joseph for the penguins and pixels of Dubois to number 31 of 399 for the Jets. Yule Levy for the Canucks. But we hit Delandria for the uh, stars in the master. Uh, Pedersen for the Canucks on the best in the world. And Mikey Anderson for the Kings on the rookie. Yep, that was all it was in there. So we either have a two auto box or our auto just was in a random pack and not in the bottom left. It has been so consistently in the bottom left that I don't know what to do. I moved my garbage can slightly and my throws are off. Uh, gets left on the rainbow for the ducks. Uh, it looks okay-ish. And nothing horrible. And there's laugh. Retro of Taze for Chicago and laugh. That one is pretty clean. I think that's an orange checkers with the auto, which means it's a 15. If my hunch is correct. Zuccarello for the wild. On the rainbow, Ingram for the Predators. Not scratched up there, which is nice to see. We got a yellow tracks coming up here. 
I also forgot how much, like, we didn't, I don't think we got, we got one seismic gold in our entire master, and we got four in the one inner that we did. Subban on the yellow tracks to 249, 186 to 249 for the Devils. Uh, Mitchell for Chicago on the rookie. I think there's a couple little marks, but nothing, like, major. Yeah, I, I was just shocked at, like, how, you know, looking back at our inner compared to the master, like, how strong our, our inner was insane, to be fair. But Shifley for the Jets on the best in the world, and Turkoff for the... Uh, blue jackets lots of little like smudging on it like almost watermarks that i like to call them um ah. but yeah that like that first inner that we did was nuts that pack did not want to open at all uh, Crosby on the retro. This is like a nice little like print shrinkage thing in there, and Alexiev again, same thing. A little bit marked up on the Alexiev. Barkov for the Panthers on the rainbow. We got a red coming up. Red prism of Rene for the Predators, number twenty-four of one ninety-nine. Kalia for the Kings. So I had a leg edge there. Sagan on the retro rainbow for the Stars. And Hegel for Chicago. This one's got some marks on it right by his glove. Uh, Kuchero for the Lightning. Joseph and some little like scratchies here and there, but nothing major. Should have our matte pink, right? Yep, so that is one of those is our auto Ooh, matte pink rookie. Marchand for the Bruins and matte pink rookie of Mikey Anderson for the Kings. Uh, doesn't have that weird little bubbling that they sometimes can have, so good to see. All right, this is typically the auto pack, so we might have a weird case. And we have a photo driven of Pedersen for the Canucks and a Harley. This one's pretty scratched up for the stars. So this is an auto. Things you like to see. Uh, nice one for the Washington Capitals. Connor McMichael on the orange checkers auto to 15. Number two of 15 who had them. Uh, Corey and a DPH rookie behind it. Great start to the break. Anytime you hit a low numbered auto of a decently promising player and Nick Michael being one of them, again, 2 of 15 on that one, you're happy. That's a good start. We take those. Those are, those are W's. All right, box 36 or 57, aka box number two of the break. Will the auto be in the bottom left? One way to find out. We should see what pack, how far down that pack is just to see if it's consistent. Uh, Sunset of Krejci for the Bruins. Uh, Keith for Chicago on the rainbow, Ottinger for the stars on the rookie. Carlson for Vegas, Filardi for the Kings. There was the man of the weekend, pulled his high gloss young gun, that was a wicked, wicked pull. I think that's an auto, that's our auto, so it looks like an auto in the same spot. It's an update matte pink to 99, though. Uh, Vasilevsky for the Lightning on the retro. I think we got an extra card here. Yeah, Nelson for the Islanders on the Sunset and Lindholm for the Flames on the Aquamarine to 499, 306 to 499. Broberg for the Oilers. So we should have a three card pack. Yep. Kelp for the Avs. Kershaw for Chicago. 
And I'm not going to call every single rookie at this point that has marks and stuff on it. Just know that some of them do. Um, it's unfortunately a little bit common. Uh, Delandria for the Stars on the Sweet Selections. And Lawrence for the Hurricanes. Like, again, you can kind of see it when I flash the card, but, you know. Unfortunately, like, it's just sometimes you get the packs like that. So... Uh, second for the stars on the rainbow. At least the rainbows look clean. Robertson for the least. But the base rookies and stuff can be, uh, or have been rough so far. The laugh at least was clean. I will say that much. Larkin for the Red Wings. I might rip and stack this. Uh, Kachuk for the Senators, Coke for the Avs. I think we got uh, an Arctic, right? Yep, Gensel for the Penguins, number 39 of 99 on the Arctic Fruce. We got a photo driven of Carter Hart for the Flyers, Luncheon for the Red Wings. Stone for Vegas, Foodie for the Blue Jackets. That one, Foodie actually doesn't seem horrible. I think next uh, next box will work in stack. Kind of goes through the flow easier. Connecting for the Flyers on the rainbow and Coughlin for Vegas. Uh, they are changing the OPG Platinum format up next year, which I am looking forward to. Uh, I, I'm not the biggest fan of the 20 packs per box, four cards per pack setup, so... Wierenski for the Blue Jackets, number 78 of 199. Sharon Govich for the Devils. I think they're doing kind of similar to what Prism is, where it's 12 by 12. 12 cards per pack, 12 packs per box. You'll probably get, like, multiple inserts, essentially. Uh, his year, this has got a little indent on it on the Retro Rainbow. And some print lines, too. Sorokin for the Islanders. I'm looking forward to that. Again, I, I miss, honestly, I miss the Jumbo format. That was one of my favorite rips. Rainbow Rookie of Foodie for Columbus. I really, really like that format. I miss it. 2014-15 was the last time they did it, I believe. Ottinger for the Stars. Uh, Hedman for the Lightning on the matte pink. Birding for the Jets. We have an update matte pink auto. I don't know who's in the updates for that. There are some good ones. There are some not so good ones to get there, so... Panarin for the Rangers. And Soderstrom for the Yotes. Two off the back. Here we go. Romanoff for the Habs. And Trevor Moore for the Leafs, number 34 of 99. Uh, not the worst one to get. Not the worst one to get. Definitely, though, like, again, you'd like to get a bit of a better name, so... Let me get the base cards out of the way. Because there are a lot of them. One second, I just gotta check something real quickly. So that auto was, I think, five packs deep on the right side. Let's see if we can pick it up. One, two, three, four, five. I think it was there. Let's see if we can pick it up properly. I think it was five. Casting for the Oilers on the sunset. Delandria for the Stars. I feel like it was the fifth one at least. I might be off, but. Uh, Soderstrom for the Oats on the Rainbow Rookie. Who's it? Who did we get in the first one? Lindstrom, right? Uh, Calflip for the Lightning. 
I think we've pulled the Sodershim Rainbow Rookie in every case that we've done. That's why I had to do a double take. Because I've seen him a lot. Uh, McLeod for the Oilers on the Retro. Belzeal for the Habs on the Rook. Uh, nope, our auto was one short. Well, I already flashed it. So uh, Mackenzie McEachern for the St. Louis Blues on the Retro Red Rainbow Auto. Uh, definitely what you don't want to see for your auto hit. But hey, if you're St. Louis, you got an auto. So there's there's that side of it. McMichael for the Capitals. So it was the fourth pack then, right? Yeah. Uh, Calfoot for the Lightning on the Sunset. I was going to rip and stack this, right? Uh, Robertson has got a big indent in the middle on the Rookie. Let's do that for the rest then. So that was, there's, that was one, two, three, four. So there's a fourth pack. Cool. All right, we're ripping and stacking the rest. So for those who haven't seen us do this before, pretty much what we do, we open up all the packs. Um, this just helps the flow go a lot better for the break, uh, especially when it's like, you know, uh, 20 pack, four cards per pack product because it's just a lot of packs to open up, and it's just a little bit more fun doing this way. You can keep the flow better. You know, it's easier to talk through stuff, and then, you know, if you're watching this later, you can fast forward through the opening up parts of the packs, and then you can get the meat and potatoes of it. Yeah, like, I mean, we've got one good auto so far. The Moore's not the worst. I will say that much. Like, Moore is pretty solid. This is a... Uh, this is a six card pack. Like these cards, oh no, they're not stuck. It's just my fingers were stuck. That's a six card pack, because this is a one card pack. Oh no, a two card pack, sorry. Uh, we have a weird case. I'm just like, this pack feels really thick for some reason. And sure enough, it's because there's more cards than what you bargained for in there. I really wish in, like next year though what they do for OPG Platinum is that especially again you're changing up the formats if you're doing update autos make them bonus like I don't want my auto in a box of you know a 2021 product to be a retro auto update of Mackenzie McKesson and like yes you can get like Quinn Hughes or someone like that but like you know all right here we go Okay, we got Nigel for the Sharks, Shem for the Blues on the Aquamarine, number 68 of 499. Miller, this has got a dent on it for the uh, Rangers, Tavares for the Leafs, Frank Hughes for the Avs, Barzell for the Islanders, Evans for the Habs, Geeky for the Hurricanes, Parisi for the Wild on the Rainbow, Bowers for the Avs, R Red Prism Rookie, hey, we pulled one, pulled one up, break too. Uh, Capri's off to 199 for the uh, Wild. So, I will take a Capri's on Red Rainbow. Definitely will take that. I'll stand him for now. We will stand him for now. Yul Levy for the Canucks. Uh, Vasilevsky for the Lightning. Uh, Anderson for the Kings. Rainbow of Ajo for the Hurricanes. Ant Muscle for Chicago. Laugh for the Rangers. We'll see that up after. Freeze of Subban for the Devils to 99, number 88 of 99. And then Bellows on the Rainbow for the Islanders, the rookie retro rainbow. Uh, Lozhagrim for the Leafs. Headman for the Lightning. Hoaglander for the Canucks. Yul Levy for the Canucks. Yul Levy on the Matt Pink for the Canucks. Bellows for the Islanders. Uh, Quinn Hughes for the Canucks on the Photo Driven. And Soderstrom for the Yotes. So that is the rip and stack method. It just helps us get through the box in a more smooth manner. So and yeah, we can just go back through the base quickly just to make sure we didn't miss anything, but it is done. So there's a fourth pack down was our auto. We could honestly like try that and see like what box did we hit 
We could save our autos to the end of the break and just do the suspense. Maybe we'll do that in the second half. I don't know. Now nah, let's do it one for box. That'd be weird. But again, like you could actually do it because it's the fourth pack on the right side right now. So let's see if it's true. So the fourth pack, one, two, three, four. Save that to the end. There we go. We'll find out if I am a genius and I can keep track of how many packs in. That would be pack three. This is, so pack four is there. This would be pack five then. I don't think that's the auto. I think we might have guessed right. This would be pack six. I don't think that's the auto. Seven. We have Sunset of Stone for Vegas, Burlberg for the Oilers, uh, Vasilevsky for the Lightning, Turkoff for the Blue Jackets, Turkoff for the Blue Jackets on the Retro, uh, Sagan for the Stars, Sunset of Malkin for the Penguins, Rookie of Kalia for the Kings, Bellows for the Islanders, Stutzla for the Senators, it's got a nice indent on it, uh, Robertson for the Stars, Krebs for Vegas, Rainbow of Price for the Habs, DiPietro for the Canucks, Gallagher for the Habs on the retro and just quick walk through the base it definitely uh from an opening experience for like a master case this definitely would have been a lot smoother I kind of actually wish we did it um But it looks like we hit the auto as a fourth pack, so. Got a yellow tracks, I believe. We still, it'd be really nice to hit like an emerald or a gold. That is one thing that I do want to see at some point. Because the emeralds are beautiful. Matt from Quirky, I guess? Here we go. Oh, and I guess we could have had the auto in there. All right. Uh, Rantanen for the Avs on the rainbow. Lorentz for the Hurricanes. Oji for the Capitals to 199 on the red prisms. Robinson for the Leafs, lots of like print lines on that. Alexia for the Capitals on the photo driven. Uh, Sharon Govich for the Devils. Uh, his year for the Devils. Connor for the Jets on the Rainbow. Sorokin for the Islanders. Uh, Backstrom for the Capitals. 205 of 249, sorry, on the uh, Yellow Tracks. Ingram for the Predators. And Gallagher on the Rainbow for the Habs. Uh, Mitchell for the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, Ottinger as our, retro, or our Rainbow rookie. Turkoff for the Blue Jackets, Bobrovsky for the, or not Bobrovsky, sorry, Hurl for the Sharks. Uh, Bennington on the matte pink for the Blues. Uh, Ajo for the Hurricanes and Alexia for the Capitals. And that means this should be our auto. Uh, it looks like it's a rainbow update, so. And it is Philip Myers for the Philadelphia Flyers on the update rainbow, Kershaw for Chicago. Again, not the worst auto in the world, but like, you know, we've opened up four boxes and we've only hit one auto from the current year. It'd be 
really nice to have more 20, you know, more of the 2020, 2021 crop than what we have right now. So, so hopefully the remaining boxes are all like current year autos or like, you know, the golden treasures of Quinn Hughes or something is in here, but, uh, you know, box four. Coincidentally, that's the pack that we need to pull out for the auto. Like, don't get me wrong, that box still had some highlights to it, but like, it's just, it's really, really tough. Um, opening up like a modern product, like, or a current year product, and only getting update autos, so. I would love to see them change that in future years. Again, I've said that like, I think the past couple of years, like just staying consistent on it. Like, I really think that's the, one of the biggest things with Platinum. Um, I get having to use your excess inventory, but like just, you know, it'd be nice if it was done in a bonus way rather than like, hey, you're open up 2021. Um, here is last year's autograph as like your hit because like especially when it's rookies and like some of the rookies aren't good like the best time for a lot of rookies there is in their exact rookie year so you know you already missed that norris for the centers on the retro rookie velarde for the kings uh velarde for the kings on the rainbow uh best in the world of crosby for the penguins uh, ottinger for the stars came for chicago uh landis Gog. 184 of 399 on the Violet Pixels, Soderstrom for the Yotes, uh, Belzeal for the Habs on the Sunset, Burdine for the Jets, uh, Yellison for the Flames, McDavid for the Oilers, Cousins for the Sabres, Marchand for the Bruins on the Rainbow, Coughlin for Vegas, Anderson for the Leafs, Foodie for the Blue Jackets. I like that is the one thing that I would really like to see them uh, see them change. I will say it over and over again, um, just because it does. It's not a great feeling um, opening up like you know a twenty twenty one box and like your main auto hit being a twenty nineteen twenty scrub rookie. So. I get it, but at the same time, it's like it's it's a frustrating you know, experience as a as a person in the hobby type of thing. So, and I know a lot of people share similar views to that as well. Again, I think that depending when they get the autos in, doing like. Kind of like a contenders or not a contenders um a chronicles type product like literally you extend it you put extended at the end of the year and you shove them all in there too that would also be fine by me um but i would just like to see it you know i'd like to see more of the current year cards because that's what a lot of people are chasing so all right here we go mckinnon on the rainbow for the ads caprizo for the wild uh, nice yellow tracks rookie Hoaglander for the Canucks number one seventy one to two forty nine. Uh, Bodan for Chicago best in the world of Marchand for the Bruins. Ty Smith for the Devils. Uh, Nuge for the Oilers. Uh, Romanov on the Rainbow for the Habs. Kratsov for the Rangers. Lebrowski on the Arctic Freeze number seventeen of ninety nine. Third Arctic Freeze. Uh, Hurdle for the Sharks on the Rainbow. The Retro Rainbow. Romanov for the Habs, Ben for the Stars, Kelp for the Avs, uh, Ajo for the Hurricanes, Tavares on the map, Pink for the Leafs, Lynchon for the Red Wings, Sweet Selections of Robertson for the Leafs, and our auto is Belzeal for the Habs, with the bro or McLeod, sorry, for the Oilers in behind. So, I mean, again, at least the current year auto, I mean, yes, you'd probably take, you know, uh, 
a matte pink of a Trevor Moore last year over Belzeal, but at the same time, like, I, I don't know. I like the current year stuff, too, so. Hoaglander's nice. My Caprice has got some scratch marks on it, but nothing, uh, nothing major. Again, we'll run through the base, make sure that I didn't miss anything. It is really easy to tell. Yeah, there you go. All right, next box. But yeah, like the Jumbo format was like, I think you got like 120 cards instead of, I forget exactly what it was. I think it was like, it was either six or eight Jumbo packs. Um, maybe, or maybe it was four. But, you know, you got all your parallels and stuff in the middle. And you had your base on the front and back. And it was just like, Especially like for breaks and stuff, it was ideal. Cause you got more, you actually ended up with more parallels and stuff. It was quicker to open up and more entertaining to open up too. Cause you had like all your hits, like all your parallels at once. So it was like, okay, we got not one hit, then we got another hit, then we got another hit. And rather than like, okay, we got four cards, maybe a hit, four cards, maybe a hit. So you'd always have like, you know, if you open up like Bowman Chrome or uh, stuff like that, it'd be similar to that. And I really, really like that format. I think it suits OPG really well. But so 12 and 12 is a good compromise. That puts it more in line with Prism. I mean, that's exactly what Prism is. For hobby, I believe. So. Here we go. Let's see something funky though. I mean, the McMichael's a good pull. Like, it is a good pull. We already have one good pull. Uh, Barkov for the Panthers. Robertson, this again, has the same dent uh, for the Stars. Quinn Hughes for the Canucks. Zamula for the Flyers. Uh, photo driven of O'Reilly for the Blues. Byron for the Avs. Uh, Latunov for the Sharks. Pareko for the Blues on the Aquamarine. 178 to 499. Shifley for the Jets on the Sunset. Norris for the Senders. Got a print line on it. Verana for the Capitals, Delandrea for the Stars. Uh, Pedersen for the Canucks. Palmieri for the Devils on the Rainbow. Hoaglander for the Canucks. Silverberg for the Ducks and Lilligrim for the Leafs. Let's go through here. Didn't miss anything, nope. Feels like we're hitting the parallels in the same time. Uh, they really only had Soderstrom, I think, to be honest, um, for rookies. Like, they have a limited amount of vet base, but I think their only rookie is Soderstrom in this. Because um, their other rookies just weren't good enough. So... At the very least, you have Soldier Strum. Uh, honestly, like, Bunting should be in here. but Because, like, if you don't have a rookie, your team is, like, you're breaking the OPG Platinum is kind of rough. If you do have a rookie, like, you're going to be getting cards. Let's but, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, he is legitimately, like, one of the few. So... It's funny because the Sharks actually have like a lot of rookies. They just don't have any in this product. Or I think maybe Nijov in the retro and Latunov in the retro. But like one of them should have at least been a regular. Yeah, they, they're honestly like very, very weak. So Burns for the Sharks, Geeky for the Hurricanes. But at least, again, at least you have a rookie. Korshkov for the Leafs, Filthy Law on the Matt Pink for the Red Wings. Uh, Patterson on the Rainbow for the Canucks, Frank Hughes for the Avs, uh, Turkoff on the Rainbow Rookie for the uh, Blue Jackets, Miller for the Rangers, uh, Petrangelo for the Vegas Golden Knights, number to 249. 
O'Reilly for the Blues on the rainbow, uh, McMichael for the Capitals, Strom for the um, for Chicago, Matthew Kachuk on the Easter Egg Opechi Platinum Premier for the Flames. Flames are a team that doesn't have a lot, so it's nice to see them get that Easter Egg. Sweet selection of Bodan for Chicago, Belzeal for the Habs. Nice, McDavid, blue rainbow to 149. Take a McDavid to 149. We take those. Uh, foot for the Lightning. Should have our Silver and it's Cup for the Avs. And we have our Auto Pack. Ugh. Oh, it's a Rainbow Auto. It's an, it's an update. And it's Breeze Ball for the Canucks. So, again, at this point, at least half of our autos are updates, which is painful. Uh, Bell is for the Islanders. As, again, especially when it's, you know, a player who can't crack a bad blue line. <laughs> But the flip side is that at least it's kind of in a group break where there's like more diversified stuff. Like, because like if you have the Canucks, you're just like, well, at least I hit an auto. Um, it may not be, you know, the player that I wanted to hit, but at least I hit one type of thing um, is the flip side to that. But yeah, like single boxes off there. I, again, we hit, we legitimately hit a really good auto in the case. Um, we've hit a couple cool parallels, but it's just, it's frustrating when your updates are autos. Because there's like, I don't know. It, it, Again, if it's a bonus, like if you have like Breeze Ball and Bells of Eel in a box, you're just like, okay, well, like, whatever. Neither of my autos weren't great, but I got two autos type of thing. Whereas, like, if you have one, like, only one, it's just like, well, my autos were bad. Your one auto was bad type of thing. So, I don't know. Again, kind of like. It's just one of those things that I think over time that hopefully they will address after a lot of people have kind of like spoken out more about it this year. So we'll see. But Birding for the Jets. Uh, Sharon Govich on the rainbow for the Devils. Turkoff for the Blue Jackets. Best in the world of Barkoff for the Panthers. Mitchell for Chicago. Uh, Burns for the Sharks. Lindstrom for the Red Wings on the Violet Pixels. Number 36 of 399. Not jersey numbered, but still nice. Uh, Delandrea for the Stars on the Sunset Rookie. Bailey, or no, Ingram, sorry, for the Predators. Uh, Jonas Johansson for the Sabres on the Retro. Sam Reinhart for the Sabres on the Retro. Sharon Govich for the Devils on the Rookie. Gallagher for the Habs on the Rainbow. Robertson for the Leafs on the Rookie. Gensel for the Penguins on the Sunset. Lorenz for the Hurricanes. That's a lot of rookies and a lot of inserts. Again, that's just where I'd like the Jumbo format. So two things, I love OPG Platinum, like absolutely love it. Love all the parallels, stuff like that. Um, I just, there's a couple little things that can take this product from like good to exceptional. So, and I really want to see it get there. All right. Yeah, like, again, I hope we have a regular auto in here. Like, the main autos that we've had, like, the McMichael was a sick pull. Like, out of 15, Orange Checkers auto, you take that from, like, a B-class rookie. Like, B, C tier. Has the potential to get better, obviously, but um, definitely, in that, definitely in that B tier. So, that might be, I think that's still yellow. I think that's still yellow. 
Yeah. Haven't hit a gold yet. We've hit a lot of freezes. But yeah. It's been an interesting inner. Uh, I think that's another yellow. But it's faded at the bottom. Yeah, it's yellow, but it's faded at the bottom. Oh, it might be a rookie then. That might make sense. Okay. Uh, Geeky for the Hurricanes. Pedro for the Islanders. Feshnikov for the Hurricanes. Uh, Kershaw for Chicago. That's really scratched up. Carlson for the Sharks. Broberg for the Oilers. Soderstrom on the Retro Rainbow Rookie for the uh, Coyotes. Uh, yellow Tracks of Zabanjad for the Rangers to 249. Alexia for the Capitals. Uh, Sorokin on the rainbow for the uh, Rangers. Valari for the Kings. Liljegrim for the Leafs. McDavid on the best in the world for the Oilers. Ottinger for the Stars. Uh, nice Krebs for Vegas to 249 on the uh, Marquee Rookie. Soderstrom for the Yotes. McDavid on the rainbow for the Oilers. Berdeen for the Jets. So I'll just make sure there's nothing stuck in the space pack. I keep on forgetting to do auto in here, but. Yep. The McDavid will sleeve up because it's, it's McDavid. I do like the yellow tracks, those are nice. All right, big auto. No update, please. Okay, it's a current year auto. We got Sorokin for the Islanders and Tyler Benson for the Oilers. So again, not the biggest name, but it's current year auto at the very least. It was a big name back pre-NHL draft. Um, kind of had some injuries derail him a little bit, but... Uh, Carved up, was carving out a good AHL stint. I hopefully he gets a chance at the NHL level. I think he'll be like a third liner, but at like peak. But really, like he was really good in junior. Like went from a prolific scorer to kind of a good two way player. So, all right, final box here. Uh, twenty nine and fifty seven. That should be the auto. Uh, let's hope for like something. Let's hope for gold or better here. Gold or better. That's our that's our goal. That's our goal. It's gold or better. Well, there's an orange. I don't think it's a rookie, but it is an orange. So we'll take that. Actually, that was one of the first boxes, that last box, where we haven't had like a card out of 99 or less. It feels like it's been, open oh, cheese actually been pretty consistent on that front. But no, no, we got two, um, we got two yellow tracks, I guess would be where it makes up for it. All right, that's the end of that. So here we go. Let's uh, see our oranges. Suzuki for the Habs. Foodie for the Blue Jackets, Rainbow of Linus Cog for the Avalanche, Lindstrom for the Red Wings, Photo Driven of Sagan for the Stars, Cup for the Avs, Yossi for the Predators, and for the Vegas Golden Knights, William Carlson, numbered 9 of 25 on the Orange Checkers. 9 of 25, William Carlson for Vegas. On the Orange Checkers. So we got two Orange Checkers in the case. Not the worst. Sunset of Monaghan for the Flames, Romanov for the Habs, Kopitar for the Kings, Kratzoff for the Rangers, Price for the Habs, Bennington on the Rainbow for the Blues, Godin for Chicago, Duchesne for the Predators on the Sunset, and Kaprizov, again, a little bit of a scratch mark on it for the Wild. Nothing there. All right, last stack. Let's uh, 
Let's have a good auto. Let's finish on a good auto. Let's get like a golden treasures auto, you know. Might as well, right? Good luck everyone, last stack, and in the auto. Byram on the sweet selections for the Avs, McLeod for the Oilers. Ingram for the Predators on the Retro, Linus Cog for the Avs on the matte pink. Hishier for the Devils on the Rainbow, Cousins for the Sabres on the Rookie. Ant Muscle for Chicago on the Rainbow Rookie, Coughlin for Vegas on the regular Rookie. Uh, O'Reilly for the Blues, numbered 98 of 199 on the Red Prism. Uh, Fiopula on the rainbow for the Red Wings. Zamula for the Flyers. DiPietro on the retro rookie for the Canucks. Josh Norris for the centers on the sweet selections. Byron for the Avs on the rookie. Uh, ooh, there we go. Not the best name, but Cosmic Rookie to 65 of Burdine for the Jets. Uh, kind of funny that they're numbered lower than the Cosmic Rookie autos, but hey. I do love this set, I will say. Beautiful, beautiful parallel. Upper Deck's really done a good job up in their parallel game lately. So, Norris for the Senators. Uh, well, there's the Rainbow of Burdine for the Jets. So, I mean, if he does ever kick it big, uh, I mean, we hit his good stuff here. All right, make sure there's nothing left. Nothing hidden in here. I don't think so. Just base. Auto time. Good luck, everyone. Let's hope for a banger. Lots of violet pixels. So that's always good. Ty Smith for the Devils. And it is Angelo for the Penguins on the violet pixels. Rookie autograph. So we hit four updates, four regulars. Uh, overall, not the, like, kind of just a average case, I would say. Um, we hit... You know, I think our autos were kind of on the lacking side. I mean, that's nice. The Burdine's nice. The Orange Checkers is nice. Benson's kind of meh. Breeze Ball Rainbow's kind of meh. Like, the McDavid's nice. Bell Seal's meh. Um, but, like, we had four update autos, uh, four regular autos. And, like, the hit of the break is obviously the McMichael. Um, so, yeah. Uh, again, there are the two other breaks up on the site if you were interested in those. Again, once those fill, they will break. So, but yeah, hit of the break. Mike Michael, Orange Checkers Auto. Nice one there. Uh, thank you all for coming out. And it's good to meet a lot of you at the show uh, on the weekend. I'll get this sorted and packed up. And uh, no idea what breaks look like for next week, but probably a couple mixers, um, maybe some football, basketball stuff. We'll see. Uh, just kind of depends on everything. But yeah, anyways, take care, and I will see you next week.